Well, Memphis is, Memphis music has always been uh, multifaceted. You know, without intending to be critical, you can kind of do Nashville in, in sort of one word, country. And, and you know, that, that, that's sort of it. But we've had, you know, blues, soul music, morphing into funk, morphing into rap, uh, jazz, uh, rock and roll of all kinds, you know, kind of the southern sounding kind, and then in the case of Big Star, the very British sounding kind. Uh, you know, a lot of people that review Big Star records say, you know, it sounds, you know, it sounds like, uh, you know, British musicians, but with you know, with Memphis soul in the in the lyrics and, and the performances. Um, but certainly, I think everybody that, that grew up wearing the engineer or producer musicians, they were just influenced by what was going on around them and by the, uh, for lack of a better word, the vibe uh, in Memphis. And uh, Memphis, if if you think about it, it it's it's repeated so much that it's almost a cliche, but I think it's true. Memphis uh, has always been a cultural crossroads or melting uh, pot. It's a place where things that aren't supposed to fit together intersect and somehow they, they uh, do fit together. And, and I'm not a musicologist, uh, but you know, that had to do with a lot of things. It had to do with geography. It had to do with our proximity to the Mississippi Delta. And, you know, all the blues artists, you know, who came out of, of that kind of background. And then on the other hand, you know, you had uh, Beale Street was, you know, it was urbane and sophisticated and there were horn bands and there were, you know, not crude blues music, but there was, uh, you know, a, a different, uh, take and you know all of that stuff got mixed together then there were, then there was the gospel tradition um, uh, a lot of people say that soul music basically comes out of uh, blues gospel and a little country influence uh, there's a statement in a film where I saw Isaac Hayes uh, making a statement he said they called it hillbilly music he said that was the first music I ever heard. He said, I was playing hillbilly music before I was playing R&B. So, uh, it's that intersection of cultures uh, uh, that occurs. I mean, I was talking about geography again. Uh, we were essentially on the north-south transportation route, right? First commerce on the river, and then by railroad, and you know, that sort of connecting, well, what's, what's going on in New Orleans to what's going on in Memphis to what's going on in St. Louis to what's going on in Chicago. And, you know, there's sort of a musical axis that, that you can look at uh, that, that has to do with the uh, uh, geography. And, uh, uh, you know, Memphis, I think, is very dissimilar to Nashville in, in, in that way. Uh, all of there were similarities. I always tell everybody that uh, I mentioned WDIA, which was a, it was one of the first all African American formatted stations in the country very early, a very powerful station. It was a 50,000 watt station, so it covered lots of, of area. And I always tell everybody that WDIA was to soul music here, what WSM and the Grand Ole Opry were to country music in Nashville. If that's, it, it, a meaningful analogy.